I live in the Jefferson Park District in Los Angeles. Jefferson Park's boundaries are from Western on the east to Crenshaw on the west and from Adams on the north to Exposition Rodeo on the south. This area was once one of the wealthiest areas in Los Angeles, inhabited by mainly whites but soon became inhabited by African Americans after segregation was banned and by Latinos after the LA riots. Mansions from Old Jefferson Park still stand today. Today, Jefferson Park is a mixture of blacks and Latinos. I've been living here for seven years. Even in an area with taggers, graffiti artists, gang violence, and drugs in every block, I managed to stay away from bad influences surrounding me. My house is located a few houses from the corner of Cimarron and 27th, where the Cimarron Market stands. I am Carlos Mauricio Lemus, and this is a day in my life. Let's see that shit. Alright, so now I'm gonna walk around and see who we can ask a couple questions. Let's see who we can ask a couple questions. A couple questions? What's going on? Alright, so how long have you been living in this area? On 27th Street? Well, um, this district this area. district? Area. 20 years. 20 years? Yeah. And what do you think of it? Um, it, it depends what kind of mentality you have. You can either get caught up in the in the drama and the ghetto-ness of everyday life here, or you can pull yourself away from it and better yourself and try to produce better things to bring into these communities. So what have you um, I graduated Honor Roll High School two years ago, got into USC, and I plan on being a doctor, so I'm, you know, just working my behind, I'm visiting the family this weekend. So do you think that, like, you living in this area has influenced you or affected you in any decisions that you've made? Oh, definitely. Definitely, because probably if I would have been raised in a different neighborhood, I would have thought differently than what I do, but I didn't want to be, like I said prior, involved in, like, the same drama that goes on every day, so I wanted to pull myself away from that and just make my family proud. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Alright, now let's, let's go see. Alright, now, now let's go see what someone else can, can get any info from anyone else. So now let's, we're gonna go to the homie my friend Hassab's house to see what he has to tell us. Alright, so I'm here at my friend's house. Alright, man, what you write? They call me Hassab from Always BK. And at what age did you start writing? Like around when I was 11. So that's about how many years? Like about nine years. About nine years? Alright, man, so do you think that the area that you live in here in Jefferson Park has influenced you to write? Yeah. Why? Because... You know, I grew up with taggers. Every everywhere I was, everywhere we would go, they'll they'll, they'll, they'll be saying they'll, they'll be all they'll always be doing something that involves tagging. So that kind of got me into it. So do you think like that you started because you wanted to fit in with them, or was it because it's like a passion that you liked it? I liked it. All right, thanks. All right, so right now we're gonna walk to my other friend's house to see what input he can give us about the community that we live in so let's go all right so we're here at my friend's house and let's see what he can tell us about neighborhood all right man so what do they call you they call me locote locote from where are we from gang. harpy's gang all right so when when did you get put in uh when i was 13 13 yeah. and how did you get in uh, you know, growing up, I was alone, running away from home, doing all these stupid things. You know, I needed a new family. Alright, so, do you think that the area that you live in has affected your decisions? Man, I don't think so, because, you know, these are the homies, they always got my back, and I ain't going back. So, if you were to live in another neighborhood, you do you think you would have made the same decisions that you have made now? That's a good question, man. I don't know. I guess I wasn't thinking right, but there's no going back, you know. Just so, I do you think that the area that you live in is dangerous? Not around here. Catch anybody sleeping, they're dead. So you feel safe in the in these areas? Hell uh, yeah. This right. is my barrio. Hi, right, thanks. All right, so now we're gonna come in and see what 
he can give us anything. Am I interrupting, man? Yeah, but I'll take time off for you. <laughs> Alright, so can you introduce yourself? Um, my name is Luis. I go to Dorsey. What's up with you? <laughs> Alright, how old are you? 14. And how long have you been living in this area? Five years. Five years? Alright, so how do you think this neighborhood has influenced you? Well, yeah, you know, I used to be, you know, one of those innocent kids, but then once I moved in to the hood, I, you know, I started to change. So do you think it has affected you? Mm, yeah, of course. Greatly? Greatly, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, so do you think this is a bad neighborhood? Nah, it's the best neighborhood. Alright, so why is it so great? Because all the homies are here, if anything. Do you think yeah, your life would be different if you were in another neighborhood? Yeah, you know, it'd be, it'd be boring. No action. <laughs> why is that? Because the homies won't be here, man, <laughs> if anything. <laughs> <laughs> so you only like it because of the homies? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Fuck? One big family, right? Exactly. Anything else you want to say about the neighborhood? Um, it's my block, and I keep it on lock. <laughs> Alright, thanks. So you know, I'll just wake up, get everyone else, take a shower, brush my teeth, and then come to this so-called place, school, to get my education. After schools, I usually just change, get ready, and skate. I walk out, look out. My friends are usually skating. Every day. Let's just check where they're at. Right now. Anything new? Instead of being out in the streets, we could just be back here safe and everything. And yeah, we're just practicing trying to get everything better. <laughs> How we doing? <laughs> Fuck man, it's been... I don't know how many tries man, but close enough. Here it goes. Alright, so, so after our skating session, come back to the backyard, press out, and we start playing basketball. And just get changed, and then we'll get started. So after a long day, night time, we'll just come in, and then just chill, playing video games, GameCube, especially like Medal of Honor. 
and we just be killing hey, in, in, the, in, in this room. Hey, <laughs> This is what we do. Hey,